Hello, my name is Ray Guy, and we're going to retouch on a previous thing that I was talking about before, about uh, businesses charging about 15 cents for paper bags. I had a, a, a lovely lady uh, talk to me today. And she kind of brought something to my attention about how maybe this could go to the city. Like if we're paying 15 cents for a paper bag, that should go to the city. And I 100% agree with her. If we're paying 15 cents for a paper bag, it's no longer a environmental thing. It's just Is it environmental or is it just profit? Paper, like we're, we, we can't argue this, right? Like paper will dissolve with water or any other kind of I, I'm trying to think how like this could be okay. Like 15 cents for a paper bag or at least for a dollar for a reusable bag. That makes sense. 15 cents for a paper bag. That does not make sense. I can kind of see it as like maybe we need to encourage people to no longer need bagging but to charge 15 cents for a paper bag I could pee on that and it would disintegrate and I'm st I'm sticking with that one right there <laughs> my point is this 15 cents for a paper bag it's paper it's paper. This doesn't make sense. Make it make sense. If anybody can make it make sense, I would appreciate that. 15 cents for a paper bag. Okay, I can see charging a dollar for a reusable bag. I'm okay with that. But 15 cents for a paper bag that the business probably... It probably costs them like half a cent to produce it, and it's made of paper. You, you can't tell me that this is environmental when it, it's paper. It's not harming anybody when you use paper bags. And we knew this. We knew this going into it. So what? When paper gets used, it it gets reduced and then reused. Plastic does not. We know this. This is common sense. So why are we paying 15 cents for a paper bag when a business probably pays about half a cent to produce these? Can you tell me how this makes sense? Is it, is 11 cents going to the city for other environmental things or, or what? Are we just paying 15 cents so that another big CEO has a brand new yacht? Because I'm not okay with that. I'd be more okay with the fact that a 15 cents, I'll pay that 15 cents. If it goes to cleaning up our city, maybe planting some trees, but it, it <laughs> they just drop this. Like, we're, we're going to charge you 15 cents for a paper bag, and they never told us why.
and I'm, I'm trying to like I know what I know the bag bylaw. We are not doing bag uh, plastic bags anymore here in Alberta or BC, and that's fine. That makes sense because plastic does not degrade, and it's bad for the environment. However, how is it okay for McDonald's to start charging us fifteen cents for a paper bag? And this lovely old lady I met today made a very good point. And I want to already uh, reiterate that to the rest of us today. She said that if we're paying fifteen cents for. A you know, a brown paper bag, then our city should get that money. Is our city getting it? No. I kind of have a feeling that our city's not. McDonald's is probably making a huge profit on this. It is not going to anything good. They're taking advantage of a situation and they're going to profit. 15 cents. <laughs> You, you might think 15 cents per bag. It might not affect you. However, they do that by a million people per day. That's $15 million per day. Per day. So, <laughs> what I kind of want to get across is, is this okay? Like, are we okay with this? Are we okay with McDonald's starting to charge us for paper bags for 15 cents when it costs them probably half a dot or half a penny to produce it? So what are they doing with that money? Are they helping us with the roads? Are they, you know what I mean? It's, a, it's very easy to get used to mediocrity and get used to companies doing stupid stuff like this. But we have to ask ourselves, why? So why are we paying 15 cents for a brown paper bag that literally could just be... It's already environmentally stable like you you throw it like if you were that kind of person that threw that that bag out of your car window it would degrade and it would a little water and it's gone it's not plastic we, we know this this is this is basic stuff <clears throat> so where is this 15 cents going are we are we really paying this for convenience? Or do we question? Like, is it going to maybe producing more trees, some environmental things? This isn't environmental. This is literally a greedy corporation taking advantage of the situation and they're charging 15 cents for a brown paper bag that probably cost them half a cents to make and what I want people to realize is we need to ask why why like we need a, a reason you can't just do this it doesn't make sense you can't just suddenly decide to charge 15 cents for a, a brown paper bag. You need to tell us why. And we need to start questioning this stuff. Because if we don't, and we don't get legislation and, you know, stuff involved from the government to protect then they're just gonna keep doing it. Like I can literally look up right now. 
there's uh, vehicles that require a subscription. They're hiding subscriptions, or they're hiding uh, vehicle, like your your top speed, behind a subscription base. So, at what point do we do we draw the line and start? You know what I mean? Like, no, do we? Where do we draw the line? And tell these companies I can't do this anymore. They're taking advantage of the fact that there's no online legislation, and they're they're doing things that are, are not okay because they now have an opportunity with the online world where they don't have any legalities and there's no legislation because it's it's new so now they can charge 15 cents for a brown paper bag that costs them about a half a cent to create and the reason why there's no legislation is because nobody is questioning whether there should be. So now these companies are slowly putting their their hands in your pocket. There needs to be legislation for what goes on online, on the internet. And the reason why they can charge 15 cents for a brown paper bag is because nobody is questioning it. You know, you got some stupid ass content creator and, you know, a lovely old lady questioning it. Well, where's everybody else? Because it's going to come to a point where it's just 15 cents for a brown paper bag and you don't question why. And then it's going to cost you two fifty, or three fifty, or five fifty, and now you're paying seven dollars for a bag. I'm just saying. At some point, you have to start questioning. And asking, for legislation to be created so these companies can't keep doing this. Like, look me in the eye and tell me that a brown paper bag is worth 15 cents? It's like an environmental thing? No, it's not. Like, we could pee on that bag and it would disintegrate and it would go into the earth and our, you know, <laughs> nature would happen. Plastic, however, I understand that we need to not use plastic anymore. However, now these companies are taking that and they're going above and beyond. And they're saying that we need to do this and we're going to charge you more. Keep bags in your cars. Like, I agree. Like, we can't be, we can't be continuously using plastic. I agree. I'm not disagreeing with that however you can't like you literally cannot charge 15 cents for a brown paper bag that is not an environmental an environmental thing this is corporate greed at its finest <laughs> if you disagree I'd love to hear why But that's my thoughts. If you disagree, I would love to hear why you disagree. And I'd love to make another video on that. But we need to have a conversation about this. Like, this is getting kind of ridiculous. Like, these companies can't keep doing this kind of stuff. If it's environmental, that's fine. Like, I get it. But this is brown paper bags. I want to hear what you guys think, and I'll continue after that.